Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra continues its illuminating message titled, How to Find Peace. Let's join in. Today, I want to share on the subject, How to Find Peace. That's only how to find peace. But what kind of peace is it that we need? Because there are two forms of peace. What we need is not the peace of this world. We need the peace of God. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. See here, Jesus spoke about two forms of peace. Is that we've got peace that we call my peace. It comes from me. And we've got peace that we call the peace of this world. What is the difference between these two types of peace? Very simple. Number one, one is based on circumstances and the other is based on the presence of God. That's the main difference. So for example, if you have a job, you're at peace. If things are going well, you're at peace. But if there is a problem, maybe you write an exam, you don't pass, there is no peace. But when it comes to the peace of God, it's not based on your circumstances. It is based on the presence of God. So it doesn't matter whether your circumstances are good or bad. You can still experience peace, even in the middle of a storm. Before Jesus spoke about peace, he, he said in John 14, 26, he said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have commanded you. Then verse 27, he said, peace I live with you. So he told his disciples that I'm sending somebody called the comforter. In other words, even when you are not at peace, he can comfort you. So in Luke chapter 8, you have an example of the two forms of peace. Luke 8, 23, Jesus was sitting with his disciples. The Bible says, as they sailed, he fell asleep. There came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and they were in jeopardy or danger. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. 25, he said to them, where is your faith? They being afraid, one that saying one to another, what manner of man is this? He commanded the winds and the waters, and they obey him. When they started the journey, they started with the peace of this world. The circumstance was favorable. But as they were going, suddenly the situation changed. Then they realized that they had lost their peace. Then they remembered that God was in the boat. So they went and woke him up. So this time, they went into the presence of God. And when they woke him up, and God arose, that is Jesus, he even rebuked the winds and the waters, and there was peace, and they were afraid. So you see one based on circumstances, and one based on the presence of God. I remember when my daughter was very young, one day we went somewhere, very rough area, all types of people. But before we entered that area, she was, you know, a little bit away from me, just doing her own thing. But when she saw all those fearful people, she just ran and came to hold my hand. And then I saw that she was at peace. Same situation. But this time, because of my presence, she felt at peace. Because she felt that if anything comes around, I will handle it. <laughs> Same situation. It hasn't changed. But that is the peace of God. The second main difference is that the peace of this world is temporary. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 1, Paul said, Of the signs and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, who? The world. Peace and safety. Then sudden destruction. In other words, when it comes to the world, because the peace is based on circumstances, it's very temporary. But the peace of God is not based on your circumstances. That's why you cannot leave it. 
Jesus said, I am with you always in good times, in bad times, in difficult times. I am with you always, even to the end of the world. That's why Psalm 23 verse 4, David said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. It's a valley, it's dark, there are enemies, but I'm at peace. Why? Because you are there. Thou art with me. So, we must value the peace of God. We must go for it. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the key difference between the peace of this world and the peace of God is that the former is based on your circumstances, while the latter is based on the presence of the Holy Spirit. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, I got a job offer. He said, I ask you to pray for me concerning my joblessness. By the grace of God, I have a job. I'm so grateful to the Lord for this opportunity. And I'm hoping that it will be extended permanently. God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.